Oh, they were hiding underneath where I had the paint. Not to worry. What we did for the pigs was that we started off, it's a bit like if you're used to using plasticine. You make a big ball for the bottom part of him, which is basically his tummy. Then put some water on, say, a flat part here. Then what I did was I made a smaller ball for the top part here. So we'll just stick that down there, right? Then I made a smaller one, again, still for his nose, which is like that. So we stick that on there, like that. And then for the arms, what I did was I got four little pieces of clay and all I did was I just bent them like that. Small little, they're kind of little lumps of clay. And put some water. Make sure every time that you're applying a piece of clay to another piece of clay that you dab it with water, otherwise it won't stick. And what happens is that when it dries out then, one of the pieces that you forgot to add water to will fall off. So we're adding water to the other one. Those are the two legs, roughly. And then these are the arms. Slightly smaller for the arms. And there we go. Okay, the arms. And then, of course, the ears. And what I've done is it just, it's kind of difficult to see, but I just pinched out two little pieces on top here, like ears, stick them on top there. And again, on top like that for the other ear. So all you have to do then, if you want to give the pig some features, is to get either the back of a paintbrush or a pen or something and just mark in eyes here. And that doesn't do it very well. Let me try this one. This one might do a bit better. Mark in eyes there and there. Okay. And then, say for the legs, you just press in shapes here and here and say there and there as well. Okay. So you leave him again to dry overnight. And as usual, I've been busy. And we have a little piggy coming up here, a dried out pig. And there's one of his legs has just come off. But if that ever happens to you, if one of the legs comes off when it's dry, all you have to do is just get some water and uh, it'll stick back on again like that. All right. So now I'm going to paint this pig in pink. He's a pink pig. And what I did was to make some pink, I mixed together some red and some white paint and uh, just paint them all over completely, everywhere, his tummy, his legs. And we're just going to dab paint because I'm kind of running out of time, as they say. And uh, you'll end up with him looking like this. So there he is, more or less complete. And then if you want to sort of emphasize his features, all you have to do is get some black paint or any dark colored paint, really, and just dab it in here. And I just hold it up so I can see better. It's kind of hard to paint sometimes this way, like that. And in here, and in here. And uh, we're going to go back now and have a look at the other pigs because this guy is ready to join the picnic. So we'll put him on our tray and uh, there of course you can see all the other pigs all tucking into the lovely picnic. Now we have